everyone, so I'm going to show you how to get the VR input viewer that I used to use in my video sometimes. I get a lot of questions about it, so here we go. So first of all, a few things about this input viewer is that it only works on PC and on Steam VR. So if you play games from the Oculus Store on PC, then it's not going to work. It has to be a game that uses Steam VR. Another thing is that to make it actually overlay on your recordings, you'd either need to edit it in, like in post, in an editing software, or you can use OBS to make it overlay on your raw recordings, which is the way I'm going to show you. Okay, so first you want to go in the link in the description. This leads to a GitHub page uh, to the VR input viewer. There's a bunch of stuff in here. You can read through this if you want. We're going to click on this link here that says download VR input viewer. And it's going to take us to this page and we're going to go to the latest release. If, um, at the time of recording this video, it's release 16. So I'm going to click on assets and then I'm going to click on this one, the zip file right here. It's going to ask me to save it somewhere. I'm just going to hit uh, save into my downloads folder. And if I go into my downloads folder right here, as you can see, we have uh, the zip file here that I downloaded. So now you need to extract this file with a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. If you don't know what that is, then uh, you can go into this other link in the description called 7-Zip. And I'm just going to download this one, like right here. Most likely what you have is this one. So yeah, you just click download here and then it's going to give you an exe file and you just double click on that and you go through a little bit of a setup. So after we do that, I'm going to right click on the zip file and I'm going to hover over 7-Zip and hit extract files and then hit OK. And then that's going to give us our extracted folder. So now if I double click VR input viewer, it's going to open up an input viewer. So this is a little window here. I can kind of drag it around. Um, I don't have my headset on right now, so it's not actually showing my movements. But yeah, as you can see, it's transparent, so it just overlays on top of whatever window I have. If you click on menu, you can adjust a couple different things. Okay, so now that we have VR input viewer open, I'm going to go into OBS here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into sources and I'm going to click the plus sign here. And I'm going to do window capture and it's going to give us a window here for our VR overlay. So I, I'm just going to turn off capture cursor because uh, I don't want that showing up. Whenever I drag it around, it should show up in the bottom left of my screen at all times. And so this should show up in your raw recordings. Uh, and so, yeah.